What do you need at your house, huh? <laughs> well, you know, I, I know some people who need your house, especially Absolutely. when you can call it a home. And that's one of the reasons why it is that we always invite Crystal Ziegler, Crystal, a place to call home adoption specialist. Yeah. Listen, friends yeah. of mine, I was chatting with you before the show. Yeah. Friends of mine are fostering for the first time. I love it. And <laughs> they didn't seem to be a couple that would even consider it. Absolutely. So you never know. That's right. right? Now, they're talking about adoption. Awesome. Do you decide that up front when you, uh, when you uh, introduce yourselves to organizations like yours yeah. as possible foster parents? Do, are you asked then? Are you planning on adopting at some time? Well, yeah, some, some families do come in. Um, they're, they want to adopt. They want to build their family. Some just want to foster, and they fall in love with the children, and they want to adopt. So, and they never thought that that's what they were going to do. So partway through the fostering <laughs> yeah. experience, they may say, I, I'd kind of like yeah, this They're to not going anywhere. <laughs> okay, well, I'll tell you what. We right. want Luis to go That's somewhere. That's right. We do want His Luis to go home. somewhere. Yeah. Tell us about Luis. He is a fun kid. He is energetic. He has a lot of energy. So he needs someone who's going to get him involved in sports like soccer and football <laughs> and things like that. He wants to be part of a team. Um, he loves collecting Pokemon cards. And he's very fascinated with building um, with Legos, like different Lego things. So his... His big dream is to go to Legoland someday oh. with a family. That's where he wants to go with a family. Well, yeah. that, isn't, that isn't too much. We're yeah. talking about right next door in California. Right, exactly. I know. Uh, and... Luis, obviously active. <laughs> He's very active. A, a kid who's moving all yeah. the time. But does that then cause perhaps a middle-aged family to say, I don't know whether we can keep up with Luis? I don't think so. I think it's just that you can go and do things, you know, that you're not just going to sit at home. But I think Louise just needs a family. He just needs someone who's going to, he needs more than he needs someone who's active. He just needs someone who's going to love him and nurture him and be committed to him. So, um, yeah, I mean, I guess they'd probably be pretty exhausted by the end of the day, well, keeping up with Louise. A but <laughs> he's a lover. Automatically, yeah. <laughs> moms and dads, foster moms and dads, adoptive moms and dads, if the kid is not running around, right. they say, get off the couch for exactly. a while. <laughs> uh, but um, at 11, yeah. though, uh, is that a more uh, engaging challenge for new parents? Well, I think it is. I mean, I think he has more, like, he'll need help with school and things like that. So he'll have more things that he needs help with. And he'll also need someone who's committed to him because he may have been through certain different homes. He might have been through multiple level of homes at that age. And so he needs to know that they're committed to him and they're ready to see it through. There's a family right now watching. Yes. They're watching here in the valley. I want them. Now, I have the feeling that I know what section of the valley they're in. Really? Because I have these powers, <laughs> but I can't tell you. There's a family we'll who's after. saying <laughs> Luis would be perfect for our family. Yeah. But they don't know everything about Luis. What does Luis need? Right. Uh, does he need other siblings around? No, actually, Luis, well, he needs older siblings or to be the only one. He really wants some concentrated time with the family. So um, an older couple would be great for Luis, you know, if they've already raised their family and they want to um, bring another child into their home. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, but wait a minute, we're talking about a bunch of Luises here. I can't care for them all. That's right. But if it is, if it is an older couple, yeah, you just got somebody's attention out absolutely. there saying, "Oh, am yeah. I eligible?" Yeah, you, absolutely. All you have to do is have a heart and a home. Um, we'll take you through the classes. We'll license you. We'll help you get the services in place that you need. Um, so it's yeah, anybody can do that, and I, I think it's great when older couple that's already raised their family and wants to do that again because you never know how much your life is going to change. Yeah, I, Not I, only gonna change I remember their life, asking you this. I remember asking you this a long, long time ago. Yeah. But I don't remember what your answer was, and your answer may have changed. Okay. So I'm going to ask you again. Yeah. Do you consider linking races and nationalities? Or is that just never even a consideration? Absolutely. 
they're, they're, at, every child needs a home. It doesn't matter what, what color that home is or what color that child is. Every, every child needs a home, and that, and that home comes with. Boy, I tell you, yeah. when we close on that kind of universality, <laughs> uh, I'm reminded that this is, after all, about uh, everybody needs a home. That includes Luis. That's right. Crystal Ziegler told you that. <laughs> Luis is waiting. You can't stop by.